Well, set in 1977, Hunters begins in Maryland with a wonderful theatrical set piece seemingly contained in one or two operatic camera movements where the US Secretary of State, Biff uh, Simpson, played by Dylan Baker, turns a convivial backyard cookout into a murderous shootout when he's identified as a Nazi hiding in plain sight. Its preposterousness establishes a style straight from comic books and so-called 70s grindhouse cinema with its aestheticization of violence. We're soon introduced to Logan Lerman's Jonah Heidelbaum, a comic book nerd desperate to find the killer of his Holocaust survivor grandmother, Ruth, and the man who becomes his mentor, the aged survivor turned Nazi hunter, Maya Offerman. He's played by Al Pacino, and it's a quietly orchestrated performance full of detail as he subtly investigates mysteries of temperament and disposition. They and their comrades begin to violently target Nazis like Biff Simpson, who have worked their way into American politics to infiltrate the government. A quest, Offerman says, that involves not murder but mitzvah, a commandment from God. Produced by Oscar and Emmy winner Jordan Peele and created and written by David Vile, his inspiration to some extent is memories as a child of his grandmother, a Holocaust survivor, relating stories from the war. Another motivation for Wire was the true stories of Nazis who were able to move to the US after World War II, some actually living freely in New York, brought in as spies to work for US intelligence against the Soviets during the Cold War. It's a vigilante film, really, yes. isn't it? And so you have that uh, moral dilemma at the core of it, which is, you know, uh, seemingly these assassinations are justified. Mm. Um, but uh, is it right to carry them out? Mm. Uh, and so I think the the Jonah character is, you know, that's going to be his dilemma, you know, that he is right in the thick of it. Well, he's very apprehensive from the start, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Even though he himself is, is desperate for, uh, for vigilante justice after the killing of his grandmother. That's right. Yeah. So he's morally conflicted, yes. I, I think I think Pacino's always, you know, fascinating to watch. Uh, how these various characters that form this band, vigilante band, come together, I guess we'll find out. Yes, because they're only introduced the in the first episode, which is yes. 90 minutes long. I know. And it's only at the very end that he opens the door and, and there we they see them are. revealed. Yeah. Not, not all of them are Jewish, by the way, no. I don't, from the look of things. And so I think, you know, there are some decidedly odd characters. <laughs> well, right through it. <laughs> look, I, I had a major qualm with the series, and that was the depiction of these uh, games in the concentration camps, the chess game where, you know, the prisoners are take the place of pieces on a chess board and when they're knocked off the board they're killed and there's mm. a singing contest. Now, I don't know whether that actually happened, but if it didn't happen, then I think it's actually cheap and in poor taste to depict that. That's certainly been much uh, criticised. Has it? After it's the not first just episode me. went to air, no. And uh, but I think that's again uh, Val referencing the grindhouse cinema and the comic strip style that, that is such I, a deliberate a element of this this whole series. I think that's um, fine to do it, you know, away from that context. But I think that the horrors were ghastly enough there yeah. without this sort of synthetic creation of mm. them. Look, I, so I've got qualms about it. I'm not sure that it all hangs together. Um, three and a half stars from me. No, oh, well, I, I love this series. I love the cinematic style of it. Frederick Elms is the cinematographer and his camera never stops working. He actually is one of those great veterans. He started back with, with John Cassavetes way back in the, the 60s and uh, he, he's, a, he's a kind of legendary figure. And oh, he's I, a good, great cinematographer. I love the way he just edits in the camera constantly. So you go from a close-up, which then turns into a wide shot, which comes back to a two-shot. I mean, it's really quite superbly put together uh, and quite quirky and, and comic in the way that he uses the camera. Uh, I think this is a really very stylish and quite innovative piece of uh, television drama, so I'm giving this four. This is not murder. This is mitzvah. Welcome to the round. <laughs>